Hey everyone, Scott with Quest Capsule here. Wanted to come to you quickly because you may find yourself right now at a paid parking area in Colonial Williamsburg and unfamiliar with the process. So I quickly want to get to that and show you how to park. So here we go. Let's jump into it. Now, what you're looking for is these passport parking app areas and that's going to be the tool that you're going to need to download on your phone right now to be able to park in this paid parking area so the first thing you're going to want to do is jump on the app store on your phone now i'm on an iphone but here's the steps on an iphone go to the app store search passport parking search for that and then you will see the passport parking app you want to download this to your phone which is as simple as just tapping the download button waiting for it to download and once that installs, go ahead and open it and enter in your phone number and then just simply hit verify. Once you do this, a six digit code will be sent to the phone number you entered. And all you're going to want to do there is just enter the code and select next. It's going to prompt you to enter a four digit pin number and you'll do this once and you'll hit the create button and then it'll ask you to confirm it again. So just plug it in again, confirm, and then you're in. So now you're in the app, you're ready to go. Just accept the terms and conditions to continue. It's gonna ask you to accept the location, which you wanna do to make sure you're speaking to the right location there in downtown CW. And once once that's settled in, you're all set. It's, it's just that simple. So now the next thing up is just gonna be simply to enter the zone number for the associated parking lot you're in. And you'll do this by selecting a new session there at the bottom. So click the blue new session button and then Within the parking area you're in, look for that sign with the Passport Parking app icon, and there'll be a zone number that you're going to want to add in here. And here's an example of what that zone number would look like from me and Sarah's trip to downtown Colonial Williamsburg. So just plug in that zone number into the app for the associated parking lot. Then just choose select zone at the bottom of the screen to confirm the correct zone number and it's going to bring you to your vehicle type. So in this, you're gonna just wanna select a new vehicle at the bottom with a plus symbol there. So just add that. I've got one programmed in already, but I'll show you what it looks like. Plug in the new vehicle, and you're just gonna do this by simply adding in your license plate number, and it's going to then let you know what the state and country is there based on the plate that you plug in. And you're going to also want to give that car a, a nickname. So if you park somewhere else or, you know, another day you're parking down at CW, you already have that loaded in and you can just simply select that. So once you've completed adding the vehicle in the license plate, then it's going to take you to the area where you can select a parking time. And this is pretty neat. You'll just use your finger in this little slider to actually just pivot it to the area or the amount of time that you want to park. So let's say you're just going to be there for an hour or maybe two hours as of today, which is August 23rd, 2021. Parking for up to two hours is free. So those first two hours of parking are actually not going to cost you anything. And anything over that, what's going to happen is down here at the bottom, you'll see as you scroll or as you move the slider, the price will show right there. So continue at $6, continue at $5, continue at $4, whatever it may be, you'll see that so you know exactly what you're potentially going to be spending. And like I said, we're only going to be here for an hour on this one, so we are actually gifted with a free hour of parking. We just got to make sure we're aligned into the Passport Parking app, and it's a very simple process once you get the hang of things. So first two hours are free. Here we go. So we'll plug that in, and then as soon as we continue, and you can see here it's zero dollars for a for the first two hours. It's going to ask you to set up payment, and then you're just going to simply want to add in your card details, and then you may even have a validation code for a discount. If you want to redeem that, just hit that redeem button there that's beside, do you have a validation code? And if it's a legitimate redeemable code, it'll give you a discount right there. You're going to want to give that card a nickname as well. And this is just for easy access. The next time you may park in Colonial Williamsburg, you'll have that already preloaded and you can just select that card. Once all your card information is added, you'll just save that card. And as soon as you do that, it's going to take you back to the active session screen 
And there you're going to see when your parking ends. And for us, you know, we're we're allowed to park there till 1154 a.m. And it gives me the parking ends in 58 minutes, as, as seen on the screen here. But what I can do is I can extend that time if I need to. So let's say I'm running around downtown CW and I realize, you know what, I need to extend that another hour or two. Well, just jump on board the app and just funnel in the amount of time you want to uh, you want to extend it and then just hit the extend button. And of course that's going to add additional time which may add additional cost that will be applied to the card that you've already entered in. But it's as simple as that and it's a it's a nifty little app and if you go to the icon in the top right, you can access your account information. And on there, you can find your profile information, which just gives you your first and last name. You also have your parking history, which will show you previous uh, purchases, previous uh, parking you've, uh, you've already paid for. There's a list of your payment cards. You might have one or even more payment methods in there. It gives you a list of your vehicles you've inputted. You can store that in the vehicles section there every time you add a new vehicle. And then of course, there's a lot of uh, general questions, troubleshooting questions, uh, frequently asked questions you can find on there. So lots of information on there, but in a gist, that's how you park in CW. Very easy process. At first, it could be a bit overwhelming, but using those steps, you'll be in and out and secure and not worried about receiving a citation for parking in a paid parking area without going through this process and then potentially getting hit with a fine. So that's it. Just a few easy steps and you're in there enjoying a wonderful day out in Colonial Williamsburg, the beautiful old colonial capital of Virginia and you're going to enjoy your day. So easy process, not expensive at all. And like I said, the first two hours are absolutely free. So hopefully this video was helpful. And if it was, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the Quest Capsule channel. Be on the lookout for a lot of new vlogs from downtown Colonial CW, as well as other historical documentary vlogs we put out. But for now, I'm going to close this one out. Once again, this is Scott with Quest Capsule. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day in Colonial Williamsburg.